Mayor? Hey, Jennifer, you ready for the State of the City today? I am, let's do this. All right. New City Hall, it's so beautiful. Wow, can you believe it's been almost a year since we've done the groundbreaking? And it was almost 20 years in the making to get there. I'm so proud of the way that the project's being managed. I'm so proud of the way that it's financed. It's on time, within budget, and we're not raising property taxes. And the best part about it is that it has a one-stop shop where our residents and our business owners can come in and they can do all sorts of things in just one area without having to go to five different areas throughout the city. That's great. Yeah. You know what's amazing? We've invested more than $200 million in public wow. facilities. Yeah. Critical Last infrastructure. Three years, mm -hmm. something like that. And of course, we built big things. Our new stadium, our uh, Blue Jays player development complex, our emergency operations center, and we have even done work to our water and wastewater treatment plants. Coming into fiscal year 2022, fiscally strong despite the pandemic. That's awesome. Yeah, Penny for Pinellas certainly helped. It's much stronger than we thought that it would be, yeah. and we can use that to finance a lot of our capital projects. That's thanks to the American Rescue Plan Act funding, and yeah. we're using $16 million of, of those funds uh, for infrastructure projects uh, like broadband. We're using it to help our, our uh, businesses throughout the city and our not-for-profits. We're having the grand opening October 15th, yeah. rain or shine. It's gonna be wonderful. We're opening the building to the community so they can walk in the building and see That's gonna be awesome. yeah, all the offices and city commission chambers, which is gonna hold an additional 50 people. And uh, we saved our tree. Yeah, we did, the Grand Oak, front and center. I love just sitting here in Pioneer Park because it really is sort of the heart of the downtown. I really we've do done too. so many improvements, you know, we've got our new bandstand where, mm -hmm. where it's been improved and the sound and lighting quality is so much better and of course yeah. we have our new public art installation. Um, and then of course the lights and the trees at night has uh, been something that's really elevated the look of our downtown. Yeah, um, absolutely. Really love it. And thanks to our ARPA funds too, we're going to be able to help our downtown businesses. We're seeding them the money for the special events. And haven't the special events been something? Oh my God, they're so really packed. packed. I mean, and yeah. people have been really nice. You know, most people think it's development that right. causes our crowding. Right. Our um, population has only grown like a thousand people in the last 10 years. So Crazy, it's like it's amazing. Where it's grown though, where the population has grown is mm -hmm. tourism. And the tourism numbers we have what is it, a million people that live essentially here in Pinellas yeah. County? Yeah. And we have 15 and a half million people who are visiting. And they put, I don't know, something like 60 or 70 percent of them are mm. coming with a car. We did purchase the uh, the property on Scotland. Yep. And we're going to put a parking garage in there, about 175 spaces, we figure. That is so exciting. We've worked with MIS, we've worked with the school board to, to locate additional parking on their properties awesome. as well. So, yeah, and we're forever, forever in the hunt for parking. but. We've really pushed that out on social media as well, where, where our re remote parking areas are. Future's bright. Okay, let's head down to Edgewater Park. Who doesn't love this park? We have Edgewater, we've got um, Weaver, which is a wa another waterfront park, and then we've got, of course, the two state parks. The number one state park, so Honeymoon Yay. and Caladesi, which, we did. you know, everybody visits. It's just wonderful how much uh, green space we have here in the city of Denver. It really is amazing. And, and hey, we were a 2021 Best Beach Town, right? Best of the I Bay. Yeah, we were. That yeah. was a great night. Uh -huh. That was such a great night. And it just so happens we happen to have the award <laughs> in the golf cart. There it is, Best there Beach it is. Town. Yay. Best Beach Town. <laughs> so, Mayor, we actually have 450 acres of open space and parks in the city And that's of more than most, right? Yeah. yeah. That's six acres per 1,000 in population, over wow. six acres per 1,000 population, which doubles the community standard. Wow. According to the state of Florida. And I think actually one of the proudest moments of my career was Gladys Douglas. Mine too. You too? Yeah. Mine too. 44 acres, mm -hmm. right, of open space that we acquired with $4.5 million contributed by the community. Our residents and even the surrounding areas are really passionate about green space. Mm -hmm. And it showed in the fundraising effort. And all the critters right. in the all preserve. The critters, yeah. Yeah, all the They're critters. very happy too. The Turtles. gopher tortoise is yeah. static, you know. Yeah. We just gave you uh, some new direction to purchase you did? the lake. Yes, yes. It's actually 80 acres with the water and the surrounding uplands. Uh, it's 80 acres of open space, which we're going to add to the uh, Gladys Douglas Preserve. And that's going to be over 120 acres, maybe. When do we hope to get that park open? Well, within the next six months. We're going to open it to the public because we're going to finish the, the walkway. We have to make sure it's safe for right. everybody to access. We have to uh, put in some parking and some restrooms. Speaking of water, mmm, I'm thirsty. That's nice clean mm. water, isn't it? 
Reverse osmosis. Clean water. Yeah. And aren't you glad it's back? So last September, Reverse Osmosis Water Treatment Plant, uh, there was a fire, yeah. as you know, and it knocked out our, all of our skids, which produced the, the treated water. We were uh, um, offline in terms of reverse osmosis uh, treated water until December right. of last year. It was hard on the residents. And let me tell you, it was hard on Facebook too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I bet. We have a very engaged audience right. and, and you expect nothing less right. out of Dunedin residents and, uh, and I'm really proud of that. Yeah, We never had to borrow water or use water from anybody else because right. we had over a million gallons in storage. Right. Yeah, and a lot of people ask us about our uh, our level of service. Do we have enough infrastructure Structure to support development? And all yeah. that stuff, yeah. Yeah, and as far it's as rivers osmosis water, we have more than enough. It was it's very an, impactful to our local It's an economic so. development generator for sure. It was good water. So yeah. Thank God we have it back. Yeah. Let's head to uh, Sterling Park. Oh, we're going to the driving range. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful shot, Jennifer. What the heck are you doing? I'm warming up for State of the City. Come on, we gotta go. We're late. I don't get much of a chance to play a lot of golf, you know. Well, you will, you will. Come on, we're late. Okay, okay, ready, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I hope our food's not cold. Yeah. Wow. I had to play golf. <laughs> here we go. Thank you.